And there you have it, the Master Grade XS Gundam in Mobile Armor Mode. So this one is looking unique. So it doesn't resemble a spaceship or something. So this is the kind of transformation you will only do once then probably gonna revert it back to the robot mode. So let's take a closer look on this one. A more closer look of this unique mobile arbor. Welcome back to the Pinoy Gunpla channel, Metal Spy Pot Pot here and today we're on the last part of our review for the Master Grid XS Gundam so we're going to transform this uh, mobile suit to the mobile armor but before that let me thank my new subscriber for supporting this channel so without further ado, systems all green, let's go! So the first thing we want to do is disassemble again the parts. So just like we did with the excess Gundam. So it's much easier to transform if you disassemble this. So we're going to start with the arms. Then with the legs. Yeah, it's a tight fit, but it is what it is. And we should all also take the beam smart gun. So the next step, so we have to pull this out. Then take the front skirt attachment. Then we're going to tuck in the antenna. Kind of push it down a little bit. Then we have to take this out. And remove the G core fighter like so then we have to extend the, the back skirt like this and with the help of your hobby knife we're gonna flip this black piece here As you can see so up to here, then uh, both sides, then we're going to put back our front skirt attachment. So after that, we're going to adjust the angle of our base, it should be on this position. And this assembly right here, just plug it in like so. The upper body should be lined straight like this. And the tail stabilizer, so we have to put this up. So you have to detach this tab here on the back of the excess Gundam. Then Kindly extend the boosters on the side. So it should look like this. So it's the same procedure just like the G-Bomber. So you're going to put the head, tuck it in inside. 
so this part right here will go up until you line them up here so do the adjustment and this one should be flushed so this yellow piece you have to push it down like so this uh, flip this tab right here and this one should be connected on this one so these tabs right here earlier on the g-core should be attached on the hole on this side it's very tricky but uh, let's see so you want to extend that stabilizer all the way here then while putting this closer to you rotating this uh, attachment right here and you put it one at a time on both sides the mobile armor is now taking shape so as you can see right here so the next step you want to do is you want to pull this part so it can extend so just be careful because this one is super thin then this attachment right here we're gonna flip it like this So the next step will be the beam smart guns, probably the ECS, just like the S Gundam. So all we have to do is line this up. Make sure the polycap is facing up. So push the handle down and it will reveal another connector. And this, all you have to do, extend it like so. So these two connectors, see right here, will go on to this connection. And the effect should look like this very nice so you can actually straighten them up so this one is kind of yeah looking good and for the legs the first thing we want to do is push this one down get this a little up and also the legs so open this one up and again just like the S Gundam so you're gonna pull this part and you're gonna cover the feet like so so there's a tab here and there's a connection on this one so just line them up like so then what you want to do is bring this part all the way down so uh, the assembly should look like this and the next step is bring this part all the way down then bend it up so make sure there's no gap here then for the waist cannon so up then to your left then to your right then you have to bring it down until you get this effect then all you have to do is connect that to the legs then we're gonna put the wings out like so so please make sure to put this back on on the cockpit area here so should not be that hard and for the final step for this uh, mobile armor conversion so we're gonna take this uh, big part here on the side so like so and straighten them up so for the arms I'm gonna push this out like so this one will be right here so this tab right here will go to that slot so down then this binder just pull it like this then I would suggest that uh, you take off the the hands 
then we're gonna bend this down like so so you want to push this up then you're gonna tuck in the arms inside then you're gonna cover it like this so this tub right here and there's a hole so line them up until you close it so all we have to do is put this one inside you can see there there's a hole there and this uh, fin will go inside so once you line them up correct you should get this effect and this will go to here So this tab right here will go to here plus on this slot. And there you have it. The Master Grade Excess Gundam in Mobile Armor Mode. So this one is looking unique. So it doesn't resemble a spaceship or something. So this is the kind of transformation you will only do once then probably gonna revert it back to the robot mode so let's take a closer look on this one a more closer look of this unique mobile armor This is the time when Pot Pot decides. Whoop! Yeah, just like I said earlier, so I'm probably gonna transform this once only on this only on this review, then I'm gonna convert it back to the robot mode. So the transformation is not so bad, but there are some so a lot of moving parts, and there are some parts that's really thin and really small, and I don't think it's uh, stable enough to hold this transformation, as you can see here. Well, transforming Gundam is not really known for a uh, good transformation, especially on the legs. As you can see, the the legs are always there. You can always uh, distinguish it. But overall, eh, it's not so bad. I think I, I still like the, the Wing Gundam Master Grade for the transformation. But this one is not so bad either. So yeah, that will be our final take for the Master Grade Excess Gundam. So this time, it's on a mobile armor mode. So please check the other three videos from unboxing the S Gundam and the Master Grade XS Gundam so to complete the full review of this kit. So again, thank you for supporting this channel. Metal Spy Pot Pot here. Thank you everyone and I'll see you next time. Gunpla is aloha. Bye-bye.